Welcome back to the channel. This is the Ian West Network, and today we're going to do a little unboxing of the Uptech the Monster Bluetooth wireless speaker. Uh, let's get right into this video right after the drop. Okay, so we are back. Now, unfortunately, I was I did stop doing videos for a little bit just for my own mental health. Did like a hundred something videos over the last three months or so, and I said, "Listen, Ian, you're doing too much. You have a job, you have godchildren, you have a wife. You can't neglect them." <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm back again, and today we're going to, like I said, do the review of the Uptech the Monster. You had to say it like that because I'm guessing that's how they wanted it. I don't know. Anywho, let's do an unboxing. Now, I did read the instructions for this particular Bluetooth, and we are going to talk about just some of the specs. It doesn't go too in-depth on what you get for this, but I'm going to have to do some speculation. So this is the headset itself, as you can see. Feels nice. Feels nice. Um, here are your buttons right here. Here's some of your buttons. Your, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Volume up, volume up, put them camera, volume up, volume down, play, pause. Not sure what the M is. Um, what do we have right here? On, off, you have an aux cord, the uh, micro USB, which is also in the box, an SD card slot, and this guy right here, the USB. Now, what I will say is the reason that this has an SD card slot right off the bat, let me say that in the beginning of the video, is that you can put an SD card in here and play music from the machine itself. Also, with the aux, you have the option to hook it up to other speakers outside of this, but I would say uh, more so headphones. So if you decide to put a headset inside of this, right, you can just play this next to you if you're in the go, if you're in a car. Uh, obviously, we have tablets and other things in this day and age. But the only people that I actually see using this inside of, I don't know, let's say a car or something, is someone that doesn't necessarily have a Bluetooth in their car. Or they may not have, um, I don't know who would use this inside their car. <laughs> to be honest, I would give it to like uh, my grandparents or something where they would use this. I would let them listen to their Bible stuff and I would just sit it down. Or I would just sit this down and let the, let the I don't know, audio, um, what do you call those things? Not audio cache. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but podcast, whatever it is. Um, audio books. There we go. Just play through this. Now, let's look at some of the specs right here. We have the LED lights. All right. Let's try to see if this has a little bit of battery life in it. Oh, as you can see, it does have battery life. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn it off for the moment because I did not charge this. So you can use the card slot, like I said, to play music, amongst other things, podcasts, whatever, just has audio sound. Um, 1,200 mAh for the battery inside of this thing. Now, this is what I'm going to say. I looked everywhere. I looked on the box. I looked at the instructions. There is nothing here that tells me the battery life of this device. As unfortunate as it is, nothing tells me. that This is the instructions that come inside of it. Um, nothing tells me the actual battery life. So I just have to make an educated guess. This did come from five below. So let's not forget that. Sometimes they have headsets that last for eight hours to 12 hours. Sometimes they have headsets that last three hours, four hours, Bluetooth. It, it just varies on battery life. So what I'm going to assume with this bad boy right here, I'll put that in the video so you can see that, is that this particular Bluetooth does between four to eight hours. It could do longer, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that because of the size of the battery. And the fact that it has this micro, uh, I mean, the micro USB, it has the USB-A, I think that's what they call it, I forget. Um, I'm guessing you could probably use this as a battery storage device, not storage device, but, a, uh, you know, certain battery packs allow you to charge another device. So that's what I'm thinking is good, can get hooked up to, or no, you know what? or it's a possibility that you could use this USB, correction, you could probably use this USB to actually plug into your computer. That's something that I have to check myself. I just went and do an unboxing. Realistically, I don't see myself necessarily using this because I have so many Bluetooths, but this is just something for someone else that's looking for something. Uh, I can't say decent as yet. We're going to do a sound test, a live sound test. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do a sound test, but what I'm going to have to do is cut the video away, put a song that was made off of FL Studio on it so I could play the song out loud. I'm not trying to get this video copyright hit or anything like that, but let's finish talking about the specs right here. So like I said, it's Bluetooth 5.0. Okay, that's fine. 
uh, LED show. LED show is the front lights that lit up. Let me show you guys right here again while I'm talking about the specs. Uh, you do have an aux. Now, it doesn't come with the aux, but you can purchase one separately. Uh, FM scan radio. That's another reason if you decide to use FM radio, which some people do still use that. I personally don't. I just download everything or use YouTube. Um, you do have the option to basically find stations, listen to it in ear with the headset or out loud, and that's one of the other reasons why it would definitely have that, uh, here we go, the 3.5 jack right here. In addition to that, yep, uh, micro USB uh, charger included. It's a, it's a really, really tiny cord. Let me show you guys. So I don't even need to unravel this. This is like maybe a foot maybe, and that's about it. So it's pretty small. And 5-watt power. So no matter what charging supply you use to this, whether it be the Apple charger, the OnePlus charger that's 30-watt or 65-watt, Samsung charger, you're only going to be able to draw five watts of power from this device. It's not going to charge any faster, so don't expect any fast charging or anything like that with these types of devices. All right, so what I'm going to do now is cut away at the video. I'm going to go ahead and download a song right real fast. I know I said that backwards, and then we're going to test the sound and see if this Bluetooth is actually worth purchasing. Okay, so we are back. Um, I did find some music that's actually free. I had to I had to look that up on YouTube because a lot of times um, what I notice is now that my channel has a couple hundred people uh, subs, but I do thank you guys for that one. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a lot a lot more uh, songs are being copyrighted. Now normally I have my own music that I made like a million years ago off of FL Studio when I was younger, but I don't have it on this particular tablet. So what I'm going to have to go ahead and do is play this music. So it's not going to have crazy bass or anything, but we're just doing this for volume reasons. So let's play this right here. Turn that up. Does it have its own volume? Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I don't want to skip it. Okay, so the speaker does have decent volume, I can honestly say. Um, you can't really fill it in the video. It has good volume. It has, uh, let me be quiet. Let's just let it play for a second. Uh-oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm about to start using this for the background of my videos. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So, what I'll go ahead and say about this speaker right here is, is it worth the $5 or $6 and some change that you actually uh, find it in 5 Below? Absolutely. One million percent. The only issue I have for the speaker is, number one, it doesn't say if it has any uh, IP rating. That's an issue for me. But it's not life or death because when you're spending $6 out of your pocket for a speaker, you have to remember back in the day, you can never find these type of speakers. Something like this would have been $29.99 back in the day, years ago, before the technology just became really available to everybody. Not that speakers weren't available. You know how when things are released initially <clears throat> um, for a little period, Certain companies handle it. And then when the technology kind of dies down or the hype is gone, same like fidget spinners and, and hoverboards, the price dramatically drops. So to get this for $6, I can honestly say that this is one of the speakers at Five Below outside of that waterproof speaker that I uh, reviewed before. These are decent speakers. These are not $5 speakers in my opinion. I, was, I would say that this is at least 20 $25. Bucks. If we're just talking about if, if it was to be sold in like a FYE in a store like that, nothing higher. But for six bucks, not bad at all. Um, I definitely suggest buying it. Like I said, the only issue I have with this particular speaker is that I don't officially know the battery life. The box doesn't tell me. The instructions doesn't tell me. Uh, I went on some websites. I can't really find a product. I found reviews of the product, but I didn't find a battery life. Everyone speculated similar to I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and say a, a minimum of four hours, possibly eight. You have to use it yourself to figure that out. But, again, it's better than a lot of the other speakers that they sell in the store. So that's something to think about. 
Also, I was just purchasing it right away. Even if it's just for someone, a Christmas gift, a gift for someone else, just purchase it. It's a couple dollars, and a lot of times when Five Below sells certain speakers, they're gone forever. You never see them again, and the reason you never see them again because it was limited supply probably, and those were actually the good ones that you want while the crappy ones are still there. Now, the upside to the speaker is that it does have um, FM radio for those that are interested aux for those that want to hook up other speakers or possibly i would just say headset realistically i wouldn't test this with other speakers but definitely headset um has the led show so it does have some lighting especially at night or if you're in a room and or if a kid you have the handle uh, let me specify what i just said with a kid if you give this to a child to put in their room people like the rbg R, rgb i forget the the, the uh the terminology of the lights but it has the light lighting effects which i always like lights who doesn't like lights um, Bluetooth 5.0, which is perfectly fine for these type of speakers. Um, 1200 mAh battery. And since this is strictly a speaker, it means it's going to have a decent battery life. Most of these batteries in these speakers do not have 1200 mAh. Most of them are, are substantially lower. That's why they last two to three hours. But for this to have 1200, that's why I say a minimum of four hours. I personally think it probably has about eight. I could be wrong. But again, for the price, who cares? It's an awesome speaker. It does the job. You have SD card support like we discussed earlier in the video. Everything with it seemed to be perfectly fine. I like it. And anyone who's wondering this picture, I did get this off of Google. It's Medusa. Um, she's covered. So take that, YouTube. Anyway, that is the video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Uh, definitely going to start doing a second channel because I don't want to mix in the news and things that I talk about, celebrity gossip, necessarily with the tech channel. Don't know how that's going to go. But I feel re uh, re-energized again after taking like a week off <laughs> or four days. I forgot how long it was since I last posted. And here we are again. So like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.